and put that to our map so it's totally black and now create a material for our text and we use totally bright total white and transparency to brightness uh, 70 percent and luminance we use uh, Fresnel and to use that material on our text and so we get that yes shiny uh, glass look something like that and now we can render that for the render I use now a very uh, low quality I use anti-aliasing geometry animation you should mostly use best but uh, it takes so much time to render only for the tutorial so I don't need that now and also we have to change the output to our resolution and and yes that's the right one all frames frame rate 90 and now choose your path for the uh, rendering and I use the same for our map and uh, that's called 3D save and uh, that's it go on render and wait the minutes so the rendering is finished and now go into After Effects and close import file and now choose the destination for the capturing and that was yes in my case program and steam steam apps no frag and console source c strike and uh, there it is our cam image sequence so check the target sequence click on open and also import our rendering which was on e and css and now we have that 3d bmp but of course we have to select the start moment we have select the first bmp file so check bmp sequence click on open and that is our yes our two videos so of course we have first change the fps to 90 and also interpret main 90 frames per second now create a new comp and use the rendering and also drag and drop that in our new comp and I will move a little bit forward so I think that image looks good as you see that black one I think that's a box um, is in front of our 3D text and if I turn that layer off you see also that box so it fits very very well and now the next thing is we have to use the compositing method we can toggle that uh, we can switch that modes by using that toggle <laughs> and now we can change that mode to add so we get that glowy glass look we want and now that's all we should create this fits very well of course we can also render in cinema 4d the dev um, by using dev and using multipass music multipass and dev so we get also the dev pass for example to render um, yes depth of field effects for example so we can also work a little bit with that text using for example the blur and we use Gaussian blur and 5 pixel and select both transparent 50 so we have that transparent glowing 3d text effects and we can also work on our current rendering using also the Gaussian blur and I think we can take 5 
think that looks good. And let me see which mode works very well. And maybe overlay. And it's looking interesting. <laughs> Soft light, I think that one is really good. So we have very good contrast in our motion. And I think that looks okay. So I hope you liked the tutorial and I hope I can see your next video with some of the effects you can now create with Half-Life Advanced Effects. A special thanks of course to Repieces uh, who realized that technique. So that's it.